headed, big dog. So we are headed off to the office, which just so happens to be PT Fitness. Going to get a good workout in. Uh, Yeti and I, Yeti and I have our own workout we're getting in. I, I believe you're running today's workout, right? That's correct. Yeti's running today's workout in the little upper body. We're gonna get a nice little push situation. We're keeping it healthy with a little compliments of some pull to, you know, activate the antagonist situation. Balance it out. Get a little abs in there. Uh, there's, there's potentially gonna be a lot of clients in there roaming today. Maybe some free souls, some free spears. I might join in. We're just setting the tone, setting the tempo, uh, laying some new foundation at Dan's new gym. Spreading the love. Spreading the love. Spreading the love, you know? Here we go. Okay. Pulling up. Got a tight parallel parking spot. You know what I mean? I'm in the tundra. Let's see what you boy got. Let's see what you boy got. Let's whip it. Let's whip it. Oh, that was a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> that ton two point turn, baby. Ooh, easy. Two point turn. I'll do easy three more. just to make easy you feel more good more. about yourself. Oh. Ooh. I challenge anybody, anybody, to a parallel parking contest. I will out parallel park the greatest parallel parkers known to me. Yo, uh, the uh, Tesla software was actually based off of Dan's piloting skills. Uh, <laughs> And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking off this workout with band pull aparts. So we're gonna do these from four or three different angles. We're gonna go low, we're gonna go medium, and we're gonna go high. And we're gonna do 15 reps at each angle. That's right, that's a total of 45 reps. And you will be smoked after this because we're gonna do it three rounds. Now the rear delt is a small muscle, so that range of motion should also be small. Otherwise, if it's too big, the traps are gonna take over and we're not gonna work those precious rear delts. From here, we move on to push-ups off the parallel bars. As you see here, the parallel bars are set up in a V formation, right? So the bottom half where we're pressing, where I'm pressing right now, will be more tricep oriented. Slow controlled on the way down, big pause and stretch the pec at the bottom. Nice powerful press up, keeping a powerful connection to all the muscles throughout the entirety of the motion. As I move up, to the top part of the bars, now I've got a much wider grip, putting a much more bigger emphasis on my pectoral. Same thing here, controlled motion, pause, big stretch at the bottom, powerful press through the top, we'll get a big juicy pump. Here we're popping on over to the floor press, dumbbell floor presses, three different variations here. We're gonna start off with just your traditional Dumbbell bench press, 45 degree angle, slight tap of the elbows on the ground, and then press on up. Staying connected to that pectoral through the entirety of the movement. Here, we're gonna go close grip. Now, the important thing to remember here is not only am I pressing up, but I'm also pushing the dumbbells in together, getting that three dimensions of tension to get a big sick pump. Here, this is an inverted grip. This will feel awkward the first time you do it but I promise you, you will get great results. As you're probably noticing, today is a very heavy pec day, right? This is mainly chest. There's upper body in here. Uh, we're, you know, we're working a little bit of rear delts as well, but Josh really wanted to hammer the chest today. This is a high volume, high intensity day. As you see, Josh is just following suit here. 
of what I had just did. We do three rounds of this combo together. Push-ups into floor press. This was a sick way to start the workout, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, this will give you one of the sickest pumps you've had in a long time. Notice here how Josh, when he's pressing, he's trying to touch that bicep to the chest. Each one of his biceps are trying to touch his titties, and that is how you will get one of the best contractions on your pectorals. It's one of the better cues that was taught to me when I was a youngster, is to take your, take your bicep and try and touch your chest with it on the way up. Give that a shot when you're working out and let me know how that uh, enhances your pec pump. So from here, we move on to our next set of exercises. Here we have a flat alternating press. We decided to use kettlebells here because the kettlebells, the way they sit in your hand, they just give you, you know, the weight is distributed a little differently and allows you to get a, just a different kind of feel. Here we're on the bench, bench so we can get a full stretch of the pectoral. We're alternating from arm to arm. We go eight reps. I believe it was eight reps. Eight reps each arm, and then we do eight total reps together. Same cue here. Trying to take my bicep and touch my chest here, and I'm getting a nice, sick pump. Trying to keep the tension throughout the entirety of the movement on my chest. Yeah, I want a heavy weight, but I don't want to go too heavy. If you're going up in weight and you're losing contraction or you're losing that connection to your pec, go back down to the weight where you last felt, you know, your pecs engaged in the movement. Here we're moving on to rear delts again. So we do a T raise into a Y raise. That's one rep. T raise into a Y rep. That's two reps. We'll do this for eight. It's important to balance out. Everything you do for the front of the body, you should do for the back. Even though this is a dominant chest day, I don't like to neglect the back of my body, as you can tell here. Now we're moving on to our next pairing of exercises. This is an abdominal exercise here. This is like a hollow hold from a dip bar. Um, the key here is to really hollow out the abdominal, really flex the abdominals and the following sets, we actually turned around and faced the rack. That way we could actually push our toe into the rack and create a, you know, an even greater torque on the abdominal to really get the abs flaring up. This was, this, this was pretty sick. We did this for a 30 second hold. And uh, my abs were definitely feeling it afterwards. As you can see here, Josh, Josh's abs were lit up. From here, he moves on. Now we're going three reps on one side, and then we switch over to the other arm, and we do three reps. We rotate two, right, rotate through two times. And just like the other pairings, we did this three times. From here, we move on to our final pairing of exercises on the day. This is incline alternating chest press. I chose to use a neutral grip here. I find a great connection to my pecs in the incline when using the neutral grip. You could use a 45-degree angle. You could use 
you know, supinated, pronated, whatever you feel most comfortable with, I enjoy the neutral grip here. As you see, we go eight reps one arm, one side, then we go eight reps the other side, and then we will finish up with eight total reps of both arms together. Same thing here. I'm trying to take that bicep, and I'm trying to touch it to my tits. And I'm really trying to drive as much tension into the muscle as possible. That's a reoccurring theme here. You'll hear me talking about that quite a bit. I am trying to create as much tension, as much torque on the muscle, the intended muscle, as possible. From there, I immediately go into bent over lateral raises. Now, here's the thing about lateral raises that most people make mistakes. They try to lift the dumbbell up. Instead of lifting up, think about lifting the dumbbell out. The out will take care of the up. And then always lead with the pinky and never let the hands get above the elbow. The, the delts are a small muscle. They have a small range of motion and it's very easy to bypass them and use your traps. In fact, most people do. So don't be one of those people. We want big, bolder shoulders and that's how we're going to get them. Here you see Josh is using a more traditional grip here, right? This is a 45 degree angle. He's probably feeling really powerful. As you see, he looks very powerful here. And he's getting a great contraction. He's got a great mind connection or mind muscle connection here. And that's what we all should be aiming for. Like I said before, if you're going up in weight and you're progressing and you stop feeling the connection to the muscle, go back down in weight. Unless you're a power lifter, there's no sense. It, it's defeating the purpose. I imagine if you're watching this, you're trying to figure out how to build muscle. You're trying to find workouts that are going to help you build muscle. Well, it's all about technique and it's all about connection. And that connection, if lost because you're progressing at weight, don't let the weight get in the way of the connection. I promise you, you're missing out on gains if that's what you're doing. That's a wrap. We got a nice little upper body session in. Pecs nice and juicy. Um, little session by Yeti. Yeah, you he got know, us right. That was, a, that was a glorious session. We warmed up proper. Got some good circulation going. Got some good uh, mental tolerance. And I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, we're on our way out of here. Get some grub. Um, maybe edit some of this content. And then I'm going to bring us tomorrow's workout. A uh, little lower body central, so I'll catch y'all.